I'm going to Washington to stand next to an American president who is proposing a deal that I believe advances Israel's most vital interests. Over the last three years, I spoke countless times with President Trump, a huge friend of Israel, and his team about these vital security needs, about our security, about our justice. I will meet with President Trump tomorrow, and on Tuesday, together with him, we will make history. That was Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as he boarded a plane earlier today to head to the United States for the unveiling of Trump's Middle East peace plan, which Trump has dubbed the deal of the century. Welcome to this week's Bible of the News. Trump's peace plan has been long awaited, but is finally to be released this week. We do, of course, not know the full details of this plan, but it is likely that it will be rejected by the Palestinian leadership. But it is rumoured to have contingencies in place that would allow Israel to take some unilateral steps, such as annexing parts of the West Bank, if the deal is flatly refused. Now we know that at the time of the Gogin invasion, Israel must be at peace. This is clear from multiple prophecies. Ezekiel talks of the host coming against the land at rest, that dwell safely, all of them, dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. The land of Israel seems to be described as being vulnerable and unprepared for war because they have been enjoying a period of peace. But could it be argued that Israel is at peace today? Well, some would suggest that the word for safety should be understood to mean confidently. And it is true that in many ways Israel is confident in its military ability. However, it is impossible to describe Israel's current situation in the land as being without bars nor gates because the land of Israel is still divided by the security barrier, which is a barrier that goes around the West Bank, partly made up of fences, but also partly of walls. When you cross it, you have to travel through a checkpoint, which is armed by soldiers with machine guns. When you go into an Israeli settlement in the West Bank, you have to go through a gate, which is normally manned by a guard, and the rest of the settlement will be surrounded by a fence. And all these things are for security reasons because if they didn't take these precautions, there would be attacks against Israelis. Now, Israel cannot be described today as being without walls, bars or gates. Israel is only safe now because of these defences. And so because of this, we as Bible believers have taken a keen interest in looking for peace in the Middle East ever since Israel became a state. Bible prophecy requires this. How God will do this, of course we do not know, but we can be sure of it, just as sure as we have been that Britain would leave the European Union since the day it first joined. And so as Netanyahu heads over to the United States, stating that he and President Trump will be making history this week as they release the peace deal, we should look with keen interest to see if it is, if it is at this time that Israel will be brought to that position of peace and safety. Benny Gantz, Israel's opposition leader, has said that the deal will be a significant milestone on the path to resolving the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. On the Palestinian side, there's been talk of a day of rage to respond to Trump's peace plan, and it is likely that it will be rejected flatly by the Palestinian leadership. But it will be interesting to see this week what is laid out in Trump's plan to deal with this scenario as this could lead to the Palestinians either being forced to make a deal, or more likely, lose ground to Israel in the West Bank by them being allowed to annex certain settlement areas. And if we look back at Ezekiel 38, we see that the areas specifically mentioned to be inhabited by the Jews and in peace are the mountains of Israel, which today are known as the West Bank. So even if it is that this peace plan does not lead immediately to the peace we know will come, it may bring us closer to the situation we read of in Ezekiel 38 in other ways, by the Jews being on the mountains of Israel. So in this coming week, as we see Britain, God's willing, leave the European Union on Friday, preparing itself for the role ordained by God, let's also watch the events in Washington and see whether we will start to see the beginning of another step that we know must take place when Israel becomes at peace. 
world events are moving quickly toward that situation described by Ezekiel. So let us be ready and waiting because our Lord draws nigh. This has been Paul Barnes joining you for this week's Bible in the News. <laughs>